I've always loved going to islands because there's a sort of microcosm effect. You've got natural borders and so everything that happens on the island has a sort of scaled down economy and sense of community and everything is more suited to the island. And one of the things that we discovered on Hornby was the free store. I brought my shopping bag and I brought my shopping list. You just seem to find what you want, right? And if it doesn't fit, the return policy is great. Wow. Yay! Yeah, Colleen. I'm just cleaning up this high chair that we picked up at the free store last week at the beginning of our time on the island here. And we're gonna bring it back today. Hopefully someone else will just pick it up and use it and we'll get the same benefit without any kind of economic exchange. Looking at something, picking it up and saying, I want this, and then just carrying it off, it's really liberating. And you start to feel a sense of abundance that I think has been kind of trained out of us. Just the other day, I took home a bunch of old two by so that I needed some fence rails, so that was perfect. There's no price tags, there's no cash register, and it's not just a second-hand store, it's also a vast recycling center and a place to dispose of waste in a more communal, collective format. It's basically the community's attempt on Hornby Island to completely subvert the landfill system and create positive waste streams for everything that the island produces. There's probably 30 to 50 different waste streams. Having this recycling depot with so many different ways to recycle can offset significantly the garbage that would go into the landfill. We started off because we weren't allowed to burn all landfill. We've been doing this now for how many years? Almost 40 years, oh, isn't it? Yeah. It hasn't stopped being what it is, which is a fun place to come and no, it's wonderful. When you walk into the free store, you really get a sense of community. The things you want to share and get rid of go to the free store, and then things filter down as you process through all the waste streams in and out of that system. I was amazed by the time we got through all the waste streams, we just had a tiny bag of trash left. If there was a facility of this nature in every single community, literally neighborhood by neighborhood in big cities, the amount of our waste stream that we could deal with globally if we started actually taking responsibility for ourselves. That's really all I want to say is learn from what we've already accomplished. It'll pay for itself really, really quickly. The free store made me want to dream about how can we move beyond economy, beyond pricing, buying and selling to more ways to share. <laughs> So we really felt a sense of abundance and um, a sense of community around uh, sharing goods and it felt genuine. Thank you for all the work that you guys do oh, here. Oh, you're welcome. If these systems were spread out globally, we could majorly diminish how much trash goes into final resting places, a landfill, and rather put those back into their most appropriate streams to create the most good for the most people.